Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'na habita fillah We want to do our best to be complete as human beings and being a person of righteousness and you can only have true righteousness with taqwa and true taqwa only comes with iman billah worshiping Allah and believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, and actualizing tawheed Imam al Boweiti, Rahmatullah Rahmatan Wasi'ah, he reports, I heard a Shafi'i say, A man does not become complete in this life except when he has, or except until he has, four qualities religiousness trustworthiness safeguarding from sin and sobriety and this is reported by uh, in al-bayhaqi uh, imam al-bayhaqi in his book munaqib al-shafi'i ahabatifillah this shows us the importance of being religious and upright as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said qul amantu billah thumma istaqam the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said say i believe in allah and then be upright you know be steadfast so means steadfast on tawhid steadfast on the deen and possessing trustworthiness is a unique unique trait because unfortunately there are many people from amongst the creation who are not blessed with trustworthiness they don't operate by being trustworthy people that they lie they cheat they steal and they break their pacts and they don't follow through those are the opposite traits of Ahni Iman. And in fact, as the Prophet wasallam said, those are the traits of the hypocrites. Those are a type of hypocrisy, amali. And he mentioned also that they safeguard from sin. You know, this is taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, doing the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding his prohibitions. His prohibitions are sin. So avoiding sin, safeguarding yourself from sin, is a part of religiousness and, and, and right a reli, re, religious re, religious religiosity and iman and deen and being upright and steadfast. These are some of the traits that Imam Shafi'i he mentioned. And no doubt those are the traits of Ahli Iman, wa taqwa, espoused as espoused by Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with ikhlas with the bad, ikhlas lillah, with the bad ala sunnah, you know, being firm on the sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.